Hey guys, Scotty here, coming in with another video, guys. Look at all of this stuff still going on and occurring, guys. We're going to be out of here so soon with the Lord, guys. Keep looking up. When these things begin to happen, look up for your redemptions drawing near, guys. We're seeing all this stuff happen. We know what it means. We're seeing an increase day over day. Birth pains have been increasing for a long time. And, guys... We're seeing right now what seems to be a lot of these leaders threaten each other. This war seems like it could start at any minute. I mean, guys, there's so much to look up for right now because we're we are truly about to get out of here with all this stuff we're seeing in this world. And so, I just want to tell you to keep looking up, guys. Keep relying on Jesus. If you don't know Jesus, you need to get saved right now. I mean, it's going to be the best decision you've ever made. Free gift of eternal life. You need to confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart and you will be saved. And guys, look at all this stuff we're seeing. I mean, it is truly tomorrow is not promised right now. There's so much going on. Um, I just saw something about the Iranian leader threatening the U.S. if this war continues. And I mean, guys, there's so much more other things than that even happening. I mean... Sometimes it's even hard for me to keep up right now. If you've noticed the past couple of days, I keep putting out videos and there's still so much stuff in them because there's just so much happening, guys. And it's almost getting to a point right now where I can't keep up with all of it, but I'm just trying to get what I'm seeing. But there's so much stuff. And even sometimes when I make a video, I go back and there's so many things I missed. And I'm like, oh, I didn't even realize this was even happening because there's just that much going on right now. And so... I just want you guys to realize the most important thing is is to look up right now. Don't focus on the things that don't matter. Okay, we're seeing this time approach. What does it mean? It means what the Bible says. It means to look up, rely on Jesus. Think about the heavenly things, not the earthly things. Keep going forward, guys, because we're going to finish this race. We need to finish it strong. And, I mean, guys, any minute now, we're going to be out of here. And so just keep relying on Jesus. Keep looking up. Don't give up. Don't let Satan keep attacking you and put you down. Get back up like the warriors that we are, the light of this world. And keep going, guys, because we're going to be out of here so soon. And Satan knows that, and he's trying to put a lot of us down, guys. So just keep looking up and relying on Jesus. Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested, and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped, a crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, or summoned legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way. Sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now. There's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me 
and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit.